Hey guys, this is uh, T Gazette in Roblox Studio, and bef before us, you can see what I think is actually water. It's a work, uh, a way I've worked out how to do almost water effect. Have you guys ever heard of purling noise? Basically, it's uh, if you know coding, it's that math noise thing. I've worked out a way of actually doing proper or near perfect water, apart from the blocks of course, as you can see. And also as you can see, sometimes I have to work out the transparency, because sometimes you actually see the back sides of the uh, blocks before you see the, face, the faces that we're sort of looking at. So yeah, there you go. So I'm changing the transparency, the reflectance and the size of the block. I haven't tried this in game actually playing it. Let's actually do that and we'll see what happens. Uh, play. I expect I die to start with. But whatever. Yay! There you go. I'm walking on water. <laughs> and you can see the sort of signs of it. The reason why I've got it so small is if I do any bigger than size than this, it tends to lag. I'm lagging a little bit, but it's not as bad as it, as it normally is. So let's actually up the size of it and show you how laggy that is. Let's do 40. Let's run. I think Robux does not like big things like this. Yeah, there we go. Some bits are updating, but other bits are not. So I'm thinking about maybe doing a way of uh, kind of like uh, chunks, like in Minecraft. If you're not in the chunk, it's not loaded, so it doesn't animate or anything. Thought maybe I can do that for this kind of water, where in the background you just see a stationary thing like that, and then as soon as you go into that chunk, it goes it sort of moves and animates and all that well, that's uh, at the moment that's beyond me <laughs> but if I uh, play I can't think of the word I'm, that would describe that if I keep at it in other words then I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get it <laughs> yeah so Basically, the way I've actually animated this water is I'm using math uh, math noise. So if I have a look at in the script. I'm using different layers and different scales, if you like. Like, let's actually comment out a few of these uh, bits and pieces. I'll show you one of the noises, if you like. Let's do these. Nope, oh, not that one. And that should be good. Stop and then we start. You should only see. There you go. So that's the initial start of one. So we got flowing water if you like. So if I enable the other one and change this down here. Like so. We should see another pattern amongst that. Sort of merges them together. Yeah, we've got one going one way and the other one, the second one, going the opposite way to give the, the effect of water. And then I'm doing the other sides, like the top and bottom, with the last two. So if I comment out the first one, you see that second one a bit more clearer. Yeah. Uh, Cut that out, paste that after that. Right. Yeah, there we go. So let's go in the other way. <coughs> and as, as I said, the other two are basically uh, going the, the other one, uh, sort of the other directions. 
So if I undo everything, like so, you see the main effect. This is also a way of actually, if you, let's say you're drawing an image in a, I don't know, C sharp or something, you would use um, the Perlin noise to generate those height maps and to get terrain and things like that. Or terrain, if you like. Slow my words. <laughs> so, yeah. This is off, off a YouTube video that I'm uh, kind of addicted to his videos. It's, uh, what is his name? I don't know, I'm gonna pause the video just like just just a minute so I can actually find the YouTube channel. I can't think of his name at the moment. We're right back, and we're back. This is the uh, YouTube channel, Daniel uh, Schiffman. He's an excellent coder. He actually does uh, C++ and things like that, and Java and JavaScript. I've been watching a few of his videos, and I come across these. Uh, the Perlin noise thing, like we got here. I would suggest uh, subscribing to him. So I just take he he readily gives out sort of code and things like uh, like that Perlin noise thing. The way he done it was a just a terrain generated by vortices and things using the Perlin noise to generate the terrain, and I've just taken it one step further and created water. So, <laughs> yeah, he's got loads of programming videos, and he does it in a, such a fun way. It seems like uh, when I'm sort of watching his videos, like how to do something boring, he comes up with uh, a fun way of doing it. Oh, he's got loads of things. Yeah, so I, su I suggest uh, sort of, sort of uh, subscribing to him. I'm already, already subscribed. Let's see if we can find that ter terrain thing. Asteroids. Doo -doo -doo. It's here somewhere. It's got loads. From A to Z. Clappy word. And it might be another thing that might bring to uh, Roblox. <laughs> Don't know. It's here somewhere. Got a feeling we're getting close. Yeah, that's another thing that I'm hoping to properly do. Generating uh, sap spherical geometry. So then I can do my own... Here we go, pearly noise. So I can do my own shapes and things. Yeah, this is something that I'm hoping to actually get into eventually. Like creating a, if you like, a Minecraft world in Roblox using this purling noise. But instead of 2D, I do 3D. Or if you like, 4D. Or is that 3D? I can't remember. Can't think. Yeah, there we go. There's the trees that you on my last little video. This is where I got it from. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So I sort of took the code from this video and then just altered, altered it just to uh, look like water. There we go. That's basically what he does. Instead of uh, blocks in this case, he does it with vortices and then draws the faces. I've cheated a little bit and used blocks and just changed the size. So basically the way he done it was uh, he took the vortices and then draw like my uh, my uh, 3D object builder where you draw a face between the blocks. So in the case of this, I say this block here, the centre of that, to the centre of that one there'll be a face so it look uh, 
slightly different if you shift everything down by half and then shift them over to the left by half this is exactly how he does it but or should I say the look what it would look like and he wouldn't have uh, sort of faces like the edges and things he'll have it all flat I might do that do an update on this using my model maker so see how it looks kind of thing it might actually render a bit quicker that's just a thought that I've just uh, just had now that would imply me rewriting this with that new object thing and that would take a few hours to uh, sort of make them compatible and then merge them together anyway this has been together in Roblox Studio on my water example and if you guys want I can uh, go into a bit more detail with this I don't know much because I'm still learning it myself but from uh, this guy's uh, YouTube channel and the examples that he does I am learning a lot more <laughs> so even me I am still learning so yeah so even though he's uh, not part of my channel I thought recognize it was uh, sort of re recommend subscribing to him if you like coding and if you're watching my videos by this point then uh, and you're still here then you must like coding <laughs> anyway this has been Tigaza in Roblox Studio on my water example I guess an update and I'll catch you guys later Tigaza signing out